Welcome to the video by DJS PRC. Today, in front of your screen, you have the Spectrum S120 USB-C Smart Charger from Spectrum. Uh, this charger is a pretty much a compact charger. It has the smart technology built in uh, for the Spectrum smart batteries. Let's open it and see what's inside. Opening the box, you'll have your manual that I do recommend reading the manual completely, A to Z. <clears throat> now, what you have in it, you'll have a USB-C charge lead or power adapter, should I say. That guy aside, put this, and this is your charger. Now, just to let you know, the, you can imagine the size of this guy here. I don't have a, that of a big of a hand, but I do have my uh, Canon lens cover here. And it's pretty much the same size as my lens cover. Just so you know, this is extremely small. And what's fun about this charger here, besides having the smart technology built in, is it does lipos, one, uh, two cells with a three cell, and it does NIMS. Uh, and the NIM will do basically a, uh, uh, sorry, a six to seven cell NIM. Um, it will do even life batteries and a high lithium ion high voltage. And then basically it's power, it's powered by your USB of a computer or your phone adapter, pretty much anything that's USB. Now, if you have a USB 3 that delivers at two amps, this charger will like it even better. Because depending on this power delivery, that's the power it will output itself. Uh, let's say you have a USB 3 uh, that is at least a two, two amper, it will dish out for a LiPo at two amps. Now, let's say you have a USB 1, an older USB, it will not give you uh, two amps. It will give you roughly about an amp of uh, charging capacity. Um, let's say charging like this 3-cell 5000 here, uh, at one amp, you're going to be a couple hours guaranteed. <coughs> now, let's grab a USB-C. Plug it in, doesn't matter what side you plug it in, it's USB-C. And I don't have any USB close, I'll just use my power bank here. Charger lights up. <clears throat> now if we grab our main battery here, uh, we'll see in the front here you'll have the IC3 with the balancing leads. Uh, unfortunately, this battery here, it's an IC5, uh, it can't really plug in. You will need an adapter. I do have one here that's IC3 to IC5. It has the middle pin on both. You don't see it because it's taped up with Tessa tape. Plug in the charger. Plug this one in and plug the balancing port. Should I grab an extension? But Once you plug in the balancing port, <coughs> that's where this guy's gonna start flashing here. And this is telling you basically uh, the amount of charge that's going in the battery itself. Uh, when you're charging a LiPo, um, if it's under 25%, I'm just going to grab it here to refresh my memory. <coughs> okay, less than 25% is a single flash. It's purple. Double flash, it's 20 to 75%. 
triple flash is 70, 75 to 100 percent charged. Now, if you count the amount of flashes, you'll know exactly where your capacity or your charge rate, should I say, where it is. For a LiPo, it's purple. If you go and charge an NIMH, you're going to be in uh, basically yellow. This will come yellow. And a single flash, again, the same thing, less than 25%. 25 to 75 will be a double flash, yellow. 75 to 99% or 100%, should I say, will be a triple flash yellow. Yellow, again, is for NIMH. LiPo's life's lithium high voltage will be purple. When the charge will be completely complete, uh, it will be a, a green LED. The LED will become green and solid. And uh, if there's a never an error and it becomes a, a red solid, that means there's a, there's a problem. Could maybe one of the cells damaged in the battery uh, or something that's not giving the correct information here. Now again, <clears throat> depending on your power that you have will determine your amount of time of charging. More amperage you have, like a USB 3. If you grab a power block, an adapter for your uh, physical phone or uh, anything that's at 2.0 amp or even 2.5, it will give you your 2 amps of this charger needs to charge your battery. Charging at 5,000 at 2 amps, you'd be looking at at least, I would say, maybe at 2 hours, 2.5 hours for 5,000. Again, depends on your battery. The other thing you have to remember, you will need an adapter. If you buy one of these uh, uh, chargers, you will need an adapter to IC3 to IC5s if you're charging an IC5. But let's say you're not charging an IC5 and it's an IC3, it will go in directly from your battery and your bouncing part will be here. Now in this case here, the battery I have, it's an IC, IC5. Now let's say you're charging uh, basically an INMH battery. Unfortunately, I don't have one close by. Uh, and you don't have an IC3 in it, and you might have a EC3, that's the blue ones. I don't know if I have something close by here. <clears throat> Fortunately, I don't. The IC3s, EC3 should I say, they're pretty much made the same thing as the IC3s. They're just blue. They don't, they don't have the middle pin. They will plug in here. You'll be able to charge your NIMH battery. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.